All right, well, this video, this video, I, I'm only doing a live video because it uploads so much faster than, than regular videos do. So I'm just doing it live for that. But it's, it's, so you, but you're welcome to come and hang out anyway. So, uh, not the best background for this thing, but I went and I let myself go for a couple of weeks, two or three weeks now without, without, uh, dealing with this, with this stuff that I've been picking up, which I, sh you know, anyway, so the first thing I want to show you though, is actually something that I just recently bought. It's this ashtray that I got a long, long time ago and I, I listed it and lost it. And I was sure that I must have sold it when somebody ordered it. And um, I looked and looked and looked and went through everything and, and I didn't find it. And then, so I had to cancel the transaction. And I don't even know if it was on eBay or Truegether that I canceled it. But I did have to cancel it. And it might have been actually on Bonanza. It's been so long. It could have been... It might, the one it could have been the reason why I closed the Bonanza account, but anyway, uh, it, it it was actually here, and I found it the other day when I was going through my stuff. So it has to get relisted, um, even though it probably shouldn't because it took so long to sell. But I'm gonna relist it anyway because it's fun. So I just wanted to show you that even when you think it's gone, even when you think it's already sold, you pr it probably isn't. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. So there's that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is stuff I bought at Walmart. I actually bought a bunch of stuff at Walmart last night, and I got it, but I got it all listed, so it's uh, it's already, it's not going to be in the hall. So I got this Captain Marvel because, well, Captain Marvel's cool, and it was five bucks, and Christmas is coming, so I figured I'd pick it up. And uh, I don't know what they go for. Uh, I think I looked, I think they're around, I don't know, 12, 15 bucks, uh, something like that. Not sure, but yeah, I paid five bucks for her. Because, you know, Captain Marvel, you know, cool. All right, and then there was a bunch of these that were 50 cents, so I grabbed them. And I'll probably, I don't know if I'll sell them individually or put them up in a lot. I might sell them as a lot and uh, try to get rid of them quicker that way. We'll see. I'll see how they're set, which way they sell better, but I got five of them, 50 cents each. And I think they sell, I think they sell around six seven dollars something like that so if i could put them in a lot and sell them even if i sell them you know a lot of two and a lot of three something like that so anyway that was a walmart thing oh 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 i keep dropping that one that one light down there on the floor okay what's next this baseball glove it was uh it was, you can see it was $7, and uh, I think they were selling for, if I remember right, around 20 something like that. So, we'll see. And this would be a left-handed thrower. It would be a left-handed thrower. So, I think that's what they were going for. Those are going to go. And the other thing, I'm not sure if I showed you this one thing I'm about to show you or not. But if I showed it to you before, but I'm going to show it to you again. I picked this up at Goodwill. Several weeks ago now, I don't know if I showed it to you before or not. You can see I paid uh, $14.99 for it, and it's it it is it is a, the butterfly the butterfly gold you can see there, but it uh, it doesn't look like it was ever used. I mean, they are super bright. It doesn't look like they ever used it. They're a little dirty. I think I should take them out and clean them up because they look like they're a little dirt, dirty from sitting, but. Not too bad. So, I mean, they, they don't look like they were ever, ever used. So, I saw a similar set. I think it was something like this that sold for, at the time that I bought them, it sold for like $150. So, let's hope, right? Let's, let's hope. Set that over there, then. Okay. All right. So, these I showed you before a long time ago. I haven't got to them yet, listed them yet. That I showed you. All right, so here's a bag of stuff. I showed you these before. I showed you these red bowls, these old pirate bowls before. I still haven't got to those. I was upstairs taking care of stuff up there and hadn't gotten to some of the stuff down here. So let's see. This is, all right, just a teacup. 
There's a girl in exercise wear. Eh. So I, I don't know. It just I got some teacups. They were selling very well at the shop. Not necessarily this kind, but the price was right. A quarter. It's my neighbor's closet's prices. I love my neighbor's closet. It's the name of a store. It's not my actual neighbor's closet. And then there's the. They sold the the uh, saucers separately for a dollar. So there are uh, there are. I'm pretty sure there's four cups here. Let's see. There's the third one. So there's enough to go with the with the saucers. So I'm good there. Yep. There's that. There's the fourth one. And they were a quarter each. So I so I spent two bucks for for the whole thing. So and uh, so that works. And I'm just gonna put them in here. All right, next, let's see what's in the menagerie. All right, this was also from my neighbor's closet. These, there's, it was, uh, looks like three, three pair or something like that for a buck 50, which is actually more than I wanted to pay, I think. I, I was thinking they were less, but I bought them anyway. But then I have this fourth one that I got. I picked this up at Goodwill for, uh, it was 35 cents, or 40, 40 cents. It was on sale, so it was 40 cents. So I picked that one up. So really, the price works out about the same. And uh, they, they don't sell really great on eBay, but I can sell them at the shop. I can sell them at the shop. There are people that come through looking for that. I don't think it's actually Candlewick. I think it's like, I think it's like Anchor Hawking, I think, did a boopy glass. Like boopy as in poopy, but boopy. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. It's hard for me to tell the difference between all. There's there's so, there's several different kinds there. Some is just, you know, after stuff. So there's three of them. Okay, so, and then this fourth one. Now I have them all together. And they'll go over here. And they'll end up. I might just work down here today. It's nice and cool. It's kind of kind of hot today. Kind of hot today. So I see you guys there. Thanks for stopping in to watch. I got a, I just put a cobalt blue. It's just cobalt blue. It's uh, I don't think it has a. Let's get a D on the bottom. I don't know what that's for. Well, I don't recognize that that mark, but. It's a candle vote even you know how I feel about those. I'll list it. I'll probably list it for for fifteen bucks and take whatever I get for it. You know, take ten, twelve dollars, or fifteen if they buy it. All right, and then there were these. I got these at my neighbor's. Oh, that was a quarter, I think. No, fifty cents. Fifty cents for that. And these I picked up at my neighbor's closet. It's getting Christmassy time, so I thought I'd grab them. I'll probably take them over to the shop though. I don't know. I'll see. I'll look them up and see. I don't even think I looked them up because I didn't care. I knew I could sell them at the shop so it was 50 cents. 50 cents for the lot. So it's really hard to go wrong at 12 cents a piece. Okay. So that was like now did I say that I, I just, you know, I, I uh, you know, all those VHS tapes I keep talking about that I bought at that big giant yard sale that, well, at the yard sale and I bought like a thousand tapes. And so I got them for like 10 cents a piece or whatever. I finally have all of those listed. They're all, they're all listed or some of them I actually just took to the Goodwill. Some of them I took to the dump because they were in bad shape. But someone went to the someone went to the Goodwill, but most of them got listed. So they're they're all either listed or sold or whatever. It's taken years to get through that lot, but I'm through. All right. But then I went out and I bought more videotapes because that's just how it is. Sing along songs. All right. And then I'm just a sucker for Godzilla movies. I just am. I don't know. I just buy them, and I lot them up and and sell them. Uh, Popeye cartoon because I needed it, I guess. 
and then two of the greatest adventure stories and uh, I think I have a couple of other ones of those I might actually have a lot listed I have a lot not a lot a lot listed and uh, go from there and then these these are just hardcover uh, uh, what are the, um, you know what they are, the Left Behind, the Left Behind series books, and if you have, if you have a large lot of those, they sell pretty decent, so, I have, I have quite a few of this size in hardcover, so I might actually have enough for a, for, to go ahead and, go ahead and make a lot, I did, I did buy a bunch of, I only buy them when I can get them for like 10 cents or whatever, you know, I get them super cheap. got to max that out all right and then this it's hard to show you but i don't think i can but i bought i bought a box of blank i didn't actually i didn't buy them they gave them to me uh, i have a i have one of my dealers at the shop who's been in the business he's 85 he's been in the business now for 50 years and he is done he's just done he cleaned out his house he cleaned out his sheds he cleaned everything out and it looks like he's actually getting out of it. he's still got a booth at the shop because he said i'm gonna he said he's still gonna stay he's gonna just get you know when he finds one or two good things he's gonna go yard selling because we all love yard selling we all love going to state sales and stuff so he says he's 85 he says he's going to um he's gonna just do that and just just get stuff that he can bring right into the shop and sell stuff that he knows that will sell and not collect anything so that's a whole big box of these there's probably let's see uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there is probably 30 looks like maybe 32 tapes in here so 32 blank betamax tapes you can look those up and see if i did all right getting those for free or not okay next i'm gonna bring this over Someone stopped in the shop a few weeks ago, and they had some things to sell. I didn't, uh, this is a box that, there was some stuff that I, there was a box that I wanted, and I, I think I gave him 25 bucks for it, and this is stuff that just came with uh, this stuff, so I didn't care if I got it or not, but it's this cool little, little riding horse thing. I don't know. I'm sure sure it's not old or anything like that. It's just some kind of remake thing. But uh, I don't know. I think it's neat. So I'm just gonna go to the shop. I'll put. I don't know. You tell me. I, I was thinking putting. Yeah, I don't think he's really done. I don't, I don't think he's done there. Um, yeah, I think maybe. I mean, if you'd have talked to him, if you would have talked to him and listened to him talk at his house, he is so. I'll, I'll just I'll just say I really I actually kind of I kind of actually believe him that he's done because he just he's so like he, I don't know he's just overwhelmed and fed up but maybe after that wears off maybe he'll change his mind but so I don't think he should be done I think this business keeps him going keeps him alive keeps him breathing and this is not working oh yeah it is maybe not well, that explains why I got those. Oh, there it goes. That's precious moments. They, they're they. They're they're a really tough, tough, hard, hard sell. So, um, it'll probably go to the shop, and I'll probably end up taking a buck or two for it. Cause if that. Dun, 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 dun. That's that's going awful slow. I don't even know if that's precious moments. It looks like precious moments, but I don't really see any marking on it to tell me it's precious moments. There's no no symbols or nothing. So it's just some pretty little music box. Somebody might want to have it. Then there's this little wooden box. Oh look, it's a little it's a tiny little. See now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put three bucks on that on that little thing, and maybe I should put four on it. It's pretty neat. Somebody will want it. It's miniature. Okay, and this is the Soudersburg Bridge. I wonder where that's at. Amish country. 
Lancaster, maybe? It's an old picture. 60s? Look at the folks down in the corner. Not Amish. Well, you never know. Could be. <laughs> All right. And then these are, I think these are snow babies. Or whatever. Dream Sickle Club. Not snow babies. Membership piece. Whatever that means. They look kind of, I'm thinking they're all dirty and dusty. I don't think they're supposed to look like that. I don't know how you clean that, though. I don't want to just run that underwater. I guess with a toothbrush, maybe. I don't know. I don't really want to run, run them underwater, but they look cruddy. I don't know if they're any good or not. I don't, I don't know anything about that this stuff here, but I can look it up. So, find out. We can find out. For free, it's just you know free stuff to do research on. And you never know what you know. You never notice when you do research on stuff that you're looking stuff up and and then you see something else and you go, dang, I saw a bunch of those and look what they sell for. Yeah, yeah, it happens. And then cardinals. Somebody just came in a uh, month or so ago at the shop and they bought all the cardinals that were in the shop. So hopefully they come back and buy some more cardinals. All right, that's an empty box. We like empty boxes. Next, I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be here for a while doing this video. Well, I'll be here till my my phone runs out of juice, I guess. I could, I could well, if I turn my computer on to plug it in, then I'll have to, I'll have to do something so I don't mess with the keys. Cause then I can plug the phone in. All right, well, let's just, um, the Goodwill. It's a Jurassic World dinosaur. They're 99 cents. No, it doesn't work. I'm going to change the battery and see if I can make him work. But I don't know why I bought it. I, some of these, I used to sell Jurassic World stuff. Maybe I, it might be good. I don't know. I don't know why I bought it. This, oh, okay, this is different. I thought this was like the ones I had at the shop, but I didn't. This is, this is called... Milano. This is Anchor Hawking. Screen. It's Milano. M I L A N O. And uh, I've noticed a resurgence in this kind of stuff. Soreno as well. S O R E N O. There's a bit of a resurgence. But you can see I paid a buck for it. So I don't think red was on sale. So that's what I paid. And that's that's one of those things that I'll just keep till. I, well, here's another one. I at least I have at least two. I'll keep until I have more of them. And then Frozen, little golden book, very nice. And that'll go to the shop. I'll put two fifty on that. Some of them sell. Sometimes they don't. It takes a while sometimes. Then somebody will come through and they'll buy a whole bunch of them. And then these are just some granite ware pots, pans, whatever. They were a buck twenty-nine a piece, and those will go over to the shop. And I'll probably I won't put a lot on them. Probably five or six bucks for the pair, maybe something like that. Maybe each. I don't know. Depends on when I'm pricing them, how I feel. Sometimes I feel like pricing them high. Friday the thirteenth. VHS tape, horror. Look them up. I was surprised. May of course, then it was on my phone, so you never know. Sometimes the phone price ain't the best price, but. And then I, I just bought these. They were, they're only, I got them at, I think I got, where'd I get these? Okay, I got them at Goodwill. So they were 50 cents a piece. Dracula. They're just old, old horror kind of, this is, this is Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. That was fun to watch. I haven't watched it in a while, but I remember it from when I was young. All right. And I don't know what they sell for a piece, but I'll put them in a lot with some other stuff and try to sell them that way. And then I got these Cheerios bowls. There's two of them. Cheerios heart bowls. Um, 79 cents a piece for them. So I, I, I grabbed them. Just, I think somebody, I think, I think they'll do all right. I think they'll be all right. I think I did look them up and they, they were worth it. 
to me. They're worth it to me, I should say. Okay. Then this little piece. So this is called crinoline. C-R-I-N-O-L-I-N-E. Crinoline. This is by, it's not marked Hazel Atlas, but it, it is Hazel Atlas. So this piece was 99 cents. And I grabbed it because it's turquoise and it's hot right, well, it's kind of hot right now. So um, I'll, I'll probably just take this by itself and I don't know, I'll list it maybe. It depends on how they're how they're selling. Nothing else, I'll take it to the shop and probably put four or five bucks on it, see what happens. Okay, and then a pair of pants. Nothing special here. These are mine. They're 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 mine. Yes. Um they're size 40 waist, yes. Uh y'all some of you know that I lost a Quite a bit of weight there a couple years back. Well, I put a group that fit, so I'm trying again. Uh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm gonna try again. See if I see what I, how I do. But I don't know. I was down to I was down to 210 at one point. Now I'm back up to 247. I know, isn't it? It is cute. You can't pass up turquoise. All right, this was given to me by Mr. Retiring from the business dude, and it's got shoes. I don't know how old it is. It is. Uh, it's not marked. It's got a ten or a twenty seven on the back of the head. If you want to, if 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 you look up toys or dolls, if you look at dolls, a lot of times there'll be a brand name back here on the back of the head. No, nothing down there. So I don't, I don't know. He said it was good, but I don't see a mark on it. So a name on it. So I'm not sure. We'll see. I mean, if he said it's good, it must be good. So we'll see. Anyway. All right. Uh, and then the obligatory Polaroid you can't pass up. It was, uh, Two bucks as is, but I don't know why they had as is. Pop that open. Um, I don't know if it has. Did it have film in it? It did. All right. So it, I thought it. I thought it ran the other day when I when I bought it. But anyway, even if they don't work, they're still they're still worth a lot more than two bucks. So um, I'm gonna. I do have a uh, thing somewhere that I bought to try to make a uh, turn one of these one of the film cartridges into a battery so that I can check these cameras because they sell very well. I was pretty surprised. I was watching. I don't know if you if you know who Thrift Mine is. It's a young couple. Thrift 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 Mine. It's a young couple up in, in New Hampshire and uh, and. They were at a yard sale in the one video I recently watched. I don't know how old it was, but they passed up a Polaroid camera that was sitting there. They didn't get it. I thought, hey, hey, and I was going to say something, but I thought I'm sure somebody else did, so so I didn't worry about it. So, All right, and then this was a quarter, just a little car, but it's on the bottom. I don't know if you can read it. It says Stomper. Yeah, you'll have to look that up. So years ago I got I had I sold some of those. They were pretty good. So there's my washing machine here. Don't it sound pretty? I hope that doesn't doesn't mess with my Alright, and then these big brass. Now they say $4.99 on them, but I got them clearanced for 39 cents a piece. This one, the same thing. The blue was 49 cents. Because, uh... Nobody wanted them. They're a little kind of nasty looking, but I'm going to throw them into, into a lot and just sell them with the other ones and see what happens. So, but, yeah, I got these. And I had... I have some more that I got. I picked up a whole bunch of them at my neighbor's closet, I think it was. I don't know where they're at right now, though. We haven't got to that lot yet. All right, so what's next? Ah, here we go. I got this at 
the Goodwill store in Elkland, Pennsylvania. It's a Cutco knife. It's an old, old rosewood handle. It is Cutco. And it is, you can see right there that it's damaged. There's a big chip out of the blade. Cutco has a has a pretty good warranty though. So I paid $1.99 for it. But um, I should be able to get probably, it's, it's a it's a French chef knife. So it's a decent knife. So I don't know. I've been thinking about just sending it back to you can just send it up there to have them replace it but you got to pay shipping but it's probably a at least a $20 knife so even even damaged is probably a $20 knife because they'll fix it so I might just do that I have I have a I have my own cutco so I don't really need any more to get them to fix them so but I get if I took it if I send it up to get it fixed then it's probably I'll bet you it's a hundred dollar knife I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. And I'm not sure. At least 50. All right. And then I bought this bag full of... It's just a bag full of shark stuff. It looks like it was never used. But I know which one it went to. You can see which one it went to. And I, I didn't really look it up much. Um, you can if you'd like. But it's just the accessories to the to the rocket. I mean, all, all kinds of stuff in here. There's... a uh, a bunch of, there's the there's the or the dust I don't know dust there's this head in here and other, there's other parts down in there I'm not gonna dig them all out you don't really want to see them all anyway but that was the stickers gone I think it was let me see if it's on here nope it's not on there I'm thinking it was I want to say two bucks. Not positive though right now. Yeah, I wasn't gonna show you ever. There's a hose. That hose that hose I bet you I bet you that hose is probably fifteen, twenty dollars. I don't know though. Another little part. Another little bunch of little bag of parts. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know. The price is missing off of it, so Oh, sorry about that. That's a nasty little bit of shakery. have we have the deadliest catch um season season this is season three this is season one this is season two and they're all new sealed in the package they don't sell for a lot uh i think i paid what did she i think she charged me five bucks a piece for them so i paid 15 bucks for them so i'm hoping i can get 30 Maybe 40 out of them, hoping, hoping, hoping. It depends. I mean, some people were selling them super cheap. You know, they're just, just getting rid of them. Some people sold them a little higher. And then I grabbed these massaging bars. Peter Thomas Roth massaging bars. They were buck twenty nine for the for the box of soap, clinical skin care. And, uh, yes, I am going to sell them on eBay. You can look that up if you want. Peter Thomas Roth. All right. Next. Next is this guitar. Just a kid. It's just a little toy, toy guitar, but it's pretty cool. So I paid 99 I got it for 99 cents. So I'm just going to take it over to the shop and put, you know, Five, six, seven, eight dollars on it. And see what happens. Ding, 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 ding. All right, that's gonna go in there. Good, it fits. All right. Next. Oh. Okay, what's in here? We have. It's a bag full of stuff. We got. Oh, these little canisters. One, this was, 
it was his a dollar twenty nine, but it wasn't. It was. I'm thinking half off. I think it was half off when I bought it. This one's a dollar twenty nine. And pretty sure I have more of those somewhere here that I got more of them. They're not in that bag. Uh, I'm going to try to sell them as a set. And if I remember right, a four-piece set was 40 or $50, something like that. So we're going to hope that's correct. And then videotapes, they were, these are 50 cents a piece. I got them at Goodwill. They're just blanks. I don't, they're not selling like they used to for me. I have a big bunch of them. I have a big lot of them listed, and they, they haven't, they've been listed for several months, and they haven't sold. So, maybe it's time to stop picking those up. Laundry done. Okay, what's next? Oh! We have Blackjack. It works. Oh, I got the music turned off. Good. Hey, I won. Cool. That was, uh, that was, how much was that? It was 99 cents. 99 cents. All right, and then let's see. We got Little House in the Big Woods. Hardcover. That's going to go over to the shop. I'll probably just put, you know, I'll probably put three bucks on that over there. Three, four, maybe five. Something like that. A little... The fire engine book it's new so i mean newer so again i just mark those at 250 that's what i price them at nancy drew i have uh, some of these i have i have some of these books listed on ebay i'll just check and see if i need any of these for that lot and i'll i'll change that lot and the other ones will go a stat in a stack for the next lot so and around the world in 80 days i, I sell these in lots I don't know if I have any lots listed right now, but I do sell them. And if you get them, if I get them cheap enough, and these were, um, these were, I believe half. Oh, they were they were from, they were from Goodwill, and I bought them on the half off day. So uh, the hard covers are a dollar twenty nine normal, so they'd be sixty five cents. So they were sixty five cents each. I got that right. All right, so we got that, put that there, and then next we'll do some more books. Oh, what do we got? Well, first we have Sword and the Sorcerer. I saw that. In the movie theater when I was a teenager, and I don't think I was supposed to because it was rated R. And I don't, well, it says 1987 down here, so maybe I was old enough. But anyway, so it was a fun movie, movie kind of thing. But um, it was it was it was a fun movie. If you like fantasy, all right, next. I picked this up, Zane Gray, Arizona Clan. I'm just going to take it over to the shop. Probably put, I don't know, I'm going to probably put like, it's, 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 look at that, it's large print, so, I don't know, I, I don't know, what should I put, I'm going to look it up first to make sure, but at least, I'm going to put at least probably, I don't know, what do you think, I should probably, I should probably put at least probably eight bucks on it, so it's $7.99. We'll see what happens. I can always come down. I can never go up once you sell it. And a little golden SpongeBob book. And a little golden Peter, Peter Pan. And a little golden Cinderella. A little golden Three Little Pigs. And another great classics. These came from... Uh, these came from... Um... They must have come from the Goodwill. They must have come from the Goodwill. So, and I probably bought them on a half off day. 
Because I would not pay $1.29 for these. I would not do it. All right, and then Dr. Seuss. I actually sell something. I think I just sold something on eBay. I didn't get a ching, so it must have sold on my the country old country trader it must have sold on there no cha-ching so all right so i sell these at the shop for i think three or four bucks a piece and i bought these just to try hard covers they're you know, beatrix pie they used to be good i mean this kind of hurt that kind of people like used to like that stuff so i got them and we'll see somebody paid top price for them at some time and then these are Value Tales books. I have, uh, I think I have a, a lot of these listed, but they're not in that great a condition, the ones that I have listed. So I'm going to save these to put in another lot. Value Curiosity. These are all good, really, these are really nice, nice, nice shape. So I'll probably either save those to go in a different lot or I'll list them by themselves. Because they're, they're nice. Those ones are nice. All right. Uh... Next, told you I got a lot of stuff. All right, this, this was fortunate. I bought this because, because I'm always forgetting my other travel mug somewhere, my green one. So I bought this for me, 99 cents. And well, you know, like two days after I bought this, I busted my other one. I've had it for years and years and years. And that green one, I broke my green one. Gone. So now I got this one now. So that I'm going to leave out so I remember to take it. And I better put it somewhere where I won't break it. Right there. Yeah, so I'll put it right there so it won't get broken. All right. All right. What do we got here? Oh, this. I got this plate, little paisley uh, design there. And it came with. It came with this other piece here. It came with this piece. It needs cleaned up. I gotta clean that up. It came with this piece. This, the bottom goes underneath, the top goes on top, and it's Yankee Candle. It was four bucks, which was uh, not something I typically would pay, but it looks like it might be worth it. It looks like it might, might have been worth it, so. Hooray. All right. And then I bought this coffee mug because it's Craftsman. It's weird. It's not, well, it's not, I guess it's not a coffee mug. It must be like a, a utensil holder or something, not a coffee mug. That, that wouldn't work for a coffee mug. But anyway, it's cool and it's neat. I know somebody will buy that. So, and I paid, I paid 99 cents. 99 cents for it, so that works and so i know somebody will, somebody will have that i can probably put eight bucks on that at the shop and somebody will have it an old antique dealer come in the other day oh he looks like he's been in the business a long time and he comes up to me and he says he says well it looks like antique stores around here have gone the same way as everywhere else and then you're buying antiques anymore, so you got to give people what they want. You just got to give them what they want. So, yeah, where he's from, they're not doing that well either. This is a, it's a pipe pipe holder. It was a dollar twenty nine. It's looks it's a, the cork is cracked in there, but I don't think that means anything. I I think maybe there was a tip a can of tobacco that went in there, it slid down inside there. So it's a buck twenty nine, and you know, I'll probably put. Ten, twelve dollars on that at the shop, and make it go away. I could put two dollars on it if that's if I wanted to. All right, then I got these. They were at Goodwill for a dollar ninety nine. Adjustable interlocking brass. They're brass stencils. And uh, Ward's Ward's adjustable interlocking stencils. I'll let you look them up. Decide for yourself if I paid too much. Montgomery Ward. Montgomery Ward. All right. Next is a pair of, sh pair of denim shorts. Let me check the size here. The size is 
So the size is a 33 on these denim shorts. 33, which is not gonna fit me. Tommy's big thing on the side, Tommy Hilfiger. And on the rear end's a big old flag on the back. Um got these at the Goodwill. I think they might have been I think they're 450. Oops, sorry. I think they're 450 at Goodwill. Something like that. So we'll see. The big flag apparently is supposed to be good. Maybe it's not anymore. Maybe that maybe that's bad. Refaded, refatted again. Is that refaded? Refatted? Something. Alright, I think I showed you these before. Yeah, this is just stuff. This is just a thing I have for a canning thing. This is uh goes to a corning pot. I think I showed you that before. All right, what's next? I'm gonna go with, uh, I should probably empty this thing out. That's what I'm gonna do, I'll go with this. All right, I picked up these. I got these the week before those other big brass ones that I got. And so these are, these were $3.99 each, but I paid I paid, they were half rice off, so I paid two bucks a piece for them. And I think, I think, I mean, the brass alone, that, that's, that's a lot of brass right there. So they should be, I should do all right with, with those ones. I might put them all in a big lot and just be done with it. Okay, and then this, this little cast spoon. People buy these at the shop. I can probably, I paid 79 cents for it. So I can, I don't know, I can probably put, probably put four bucks on it, see what happens. I think it'll go away at that price. All right, next. Um, these things, I'm not really sure what these are. There's brass on the end. It's not, I don't think this part's not brass. It doesn't, I don't think it is. But then the, these ends are brass. I'm not sure what, I don't know what they are. They're some kind of, I don't know, but they were $2.99, but I'm pretty sure that the yellow, I'm pretty sure that was half off, so I got them for a buck and a half. Pretty sure. Okay. For some reason, I looked on Spotify last night. Spotify Music. And, uh, I typed in Steampunk on Spotify Music. And I came up with the coolest, strangest, weirdest music, like, ever. So, it was pretty cool. So, I was listening to that a little bit. And then there's this, uh, what do you call them, a Funko. This is, this is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. They're toasting forks to make toast on. That's, I was thinking something like that. I wasn't, I wasn't sure, but that's why I, I was kind of thinking that way. So... I, it's kind of odd, the brass, but yeah, I guess yeah. So anyway, there's, I don't. I she was ninety nine cents, so I just grabbed Bell. I don't know if anybody will want that or not, but all right. Next, yeah, that's what I was thinking. They were something to do with the fire, but I wasn't sure what. Masterpiece, masterpiece game, the art auction game. Uh, I don't think I checked it to see if it, I think I opened it to make sure it didn't smell because you got to watch out with board games because sometimes they're nasty stinky inside so but if I remember right that's a good that's a good game even if it's not complete I have another one upstairs that hopefully I could combine the two and make them into one complete game I know I've sold these in the past. I've sold these for fifty dollars. I'm not saying that that's what they sell for now, but I know in the past I have sold them for that. So things changed. Not now. All right, I picked this one up yesterday. It's uh, the '70s. The '70s, a game for your generation. Looks like a looks like some kind of monopoly. So I've not. I didn't even look it up. It was a, actually I couldn't look it up forgot my phone i went to the shop yesterday and uh and then i went out to the the post office i had a couple things that sold on uh sold on on the uh the ebay the ebay thing for uh the country trip for my shop 
And so I went over there to do that and to help out the woman that was working. And then um, I ran over to the post office and I went over to the post office to drop my packages off. And I, I thought, well, I'll just run over to Goodwill and stuff quick. And because it's right there, you know, you can't not. And, uh, and sure enough, um, I'd forgotten my phone, so I couldn't look anything up. So I just bought it. It was only a buck. What do you, I mean, how do you say no for a buck? I mean, I'm sure I could take it to the shop and get at least get my money back, if nothing else. So, all right, what do we got here? What's in the bag, Dad? What's in the bag? Look, it's another Pampered Chef thing. Little custard cup looking thing. That gives me, there's five of them. Now I have five. If I get a set of six, I'm in the money. This is Pamp, uh, not Pampered Chef, um, Princess House. And I have a, a weakness for it for some reason. There were two of them. They were 79 cents a piece. So the mugs, I think, I think the mugs are still good. I'm not sure. We'll say. I mean, it'll come around. Kind of looks a little, maybe like it might be. Nope. I thought it was kind of scratched, but there's a pair of them. So, cool. We'll see how that goes. You'll see when I do a What's Old video. This is a Yankee Candle um, votive. A candle votive holder. Yeah, uh, it's not the prettiest one, but it is pretty. It is pretty. Oh, you should see. I listed uh, on the, the the old country trader. You should go look at it. There's some um, glass glass ornament bulbs that I got at a clean out a couple years back. They're all hand blown. They're not they're not real light like Christmas bulbs. They're you know they're a little they're heavier and they're thicker glass, but they're super neat. Um, you should go look at them because they're cool. So, but they've been over at the shop for a while. And I've been going through the stuff at the shop and just listening on eBay the stuff that's been there a while. So this the sticker came off of this, but um it's just a Fire King mug. Not Fire King, Federal. It's a Federal class mug. I just grabbed it. It was uh seventy nine cents. And then you know, this was a dollar twenty nine for this. I don't know why I paid a dollar twenty nine for that. I don't know. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully that's the reason why I, I did it, because it was good. <laughs> Alright. Next. Another bag of stuff. All right, these these were these were at the Goodwill. There was a bunch of them. As you can see, they're ninety nine cents. Oh, well, there's three of them. They're all ninety nine cents, but they were on they were uh, they were clearanced out at thirty nine cents. So actually, and here's a fourth one. That one's a little different though. That one doesn't have the oh this one and this one. Neither one of these. Both of these don't have. Like the the scallop top. This one has a scalloped top on it. I, so I don't know. We, I, they're just Anchor Hawking Ruby ruby Red. I think that's what these ones are. But they were cheap enough. I just grabbed them for, for nothing else off. I don't think Ruby Red's doing that great right now. But it'll come back around. So. And then this. Uh, uh, who makes it? I don't, I don't see a maker on the bottom. Nope, no maker on there, but it was 99 cents, so I got that. Got the blue glass with the with the with the ships on it. Here's the other blue glass with a ship on it. Another blue glass with a ship on it, and a ship, a sailboat. This is not blue glass with a ship on it. This is it's FT FTD, but it's false graph and it's full cart. I think it's full cart. Looks like full cart to me. You can tell me I'm wrong. But anyway, I got it. It's a buck twenty nine for that. I got it. These glasses. I hope they used to be super good. These glasses used to be. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, it's been a while since I've been. Well, I've been doing a little bit. Um, a little bit. I've been really busy, but. I've also been going through some some patches, so uh, well, hopefully I can keep going. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll just do it when I when, when uh, yeah. So I need to stop talking about that. So dollar twenty nine for uh, these 
little cast pieces they're buck 29 a piece and uh and they'll they'll go over to the shop i'll and i'll probably put i don't know three four bucks a piece on them be done with that so all right what do we got here that uh, i'm pretty sure this was at encyclopedia brown and i i locked them up i think i have a lot right now a lot of them up so uh i'll just add these to it if i can if not i'll just save them till i have enough and then sell them but they i think they still sell they well you never know they will sell they just goes around just goes around so all right yeah fold this newspaper up out of the way that's what happens Just so you know, there it is. And then we have sneakers. These are Skechers. They were $9.99. And they're almost pretty much, they're, I mean, I don't know about their, if they're pretty like new or not. But what they really are is exactly like the ones on my feet which i love so i i just saved 50 dollars by buying these oh no 40 bucks i saved 40 bucks by buying these at goodwill they're the correct size and everything i lucked out on that one i got a pair of shoes for myself oh now i got the oh uh, all right and then this was all right. It was two ninety nine. Um, where uh, here's the lid on the inside of the lid. I don't know if you can see. There is a mark right there. It is a W inside. I think it's a G or a C or something like that. Just whatever it is for sure. It's the it's the mark for Westmoreland. And Milk Glass does have some followers. I don't know how good this one is, but it's a really nice piece. And when I find a nice piece for a good price, I will buy it. And uh, especially a cheap price, three bucks for this, it should be should be a lot higher. But I bought it, and it's mine now. And uh, if nothing else, it'll go on the shelf, and I'll just hold on to it till it's worth something. And then I grab these plates, cause why? Cause well, there's cool butterflies on them, and they're metal, old, and they're old. And they were $1.29. Oh, low battery. Oh, no. Um, I hit close. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I have a lot I want to do yet. So I'm going to... I'm going to get my power cord here and plug it into the laptop. And I'm going to lay this box across the laptop. Hopefully it'll turn on. Yeah, sometimes this laptop, it gets a little grouchy and it doesn't want to turn on. So, come on. I need a really long cord for my phone so I can... Oh, what in the tarnation is wrong with that? There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to. This is gonna. This is gonna be wobbly. Too wobbly. So anyway. So yeah. So there's my. Those are my plates. Done. So.